Welcome to Great Gadgets and Gear. I got a re quick review for you today. Uh, no, it's not on my boots that you see in front of you, but uh, it's something that goes with my boots. I live in the Midwest, and if anybody's seen the weather forecast out here, it's horrible. <laughs> Freezing rain, ice, just a nasty, miserable day. Very dangerous to be walking on. Um, I work outside. I learned my lesson real quick the first time that I hit a piece of ice and fell on my butt. So, uh, the boots here that you see, uh, I wish I knew the model number for you, or, or the model name, I don't. I'm sorry, I've had these for a couple of years. But they're Columbia boots. Um, they are not the Bugaboo, because the Bugaboo are taller in the back, and I don't like them. I like them shorter, that way they don't dig into your calf when you're driving. So these are very comfortable. And they're not the Silcox 6 either, because they don't have the Omni Heat. And I think I actually think these are discontinued, which sucks because they're excellent boots, and I wish I could have bought some more. But these things have held up incredibly well for two years. I mean, they look, you know, once you clean them up, they pretty much look new. So, what goes with those is what I'm reviewing today. These are Glacier Chains. Um, fantastic product. There's a lot of different products out there, and one size doesn't fit all. You know, everybody... Products work, work differently for everybody, you know, or we'd all be buying the same thing. I can tell you from my experience, I had was given from my employer a set of these uh, with the spring type uh, traction on them, and had a couple problems. Uh, one fit one boot fine, the other one constantly slipped off. So right away, I just didn't like that at all. And the springs kind of flattened out after using them for a while. You know, the traction was fine, but they just kind of flattened out, and the traction kind of got a little bit worse as time went by. The second uh, kind that I tried was the ones with the little individual spikes. They almost kind of look like golf shoes as far as the spikes go. And those actually worked pretty good, but after some time, the little spikes, they were individual spikes, they kind of worked themselves out of the, the configuration they had them in. So, again, for me, that was a product fail. So then I seen these on Amazon, Glacier Chains. I thought, hey, I'm going to give them a shot. So the cool features about these is a couple of things. It's a very simple design. Simple designs seem to work really, really well. You slip it over the toe. You got a nice durable pull handle here to pull them and stretch them over the back of the heel. And it is a tight fit, which is great because these do not slip off. They, they work fantastic. I've had these for two years as well as the boots and uh, I've never had any problem. They they do get a little uh, rust on them over time because it's just you know cheap and expensive uh, chrome type cheapy chain. I could see I gotta squeeze those back together there. But fantastic design because the the steel that's used it's one solid piece so there's three spikes on one solid piece of metal. They're not individual. They're very thick you can see after walking on them for two years they have not bent over. They've rounded a little bit at the at the tips, but um, it hasn't affected their performance whatsoever. I'm totally confident when I wear these. I've never slipped or had any kind of, kind of problems wearing these whatsoever. Um, like I said, they are kind of a little bit of a struggle to get on, and I'm going to see if I can do it on the camera with the camera without knocking it over or, or trying to be out of frame here. So, so obviously you take your boot, turn it upside down, make sure that the points are facing down. Don't laugh, I've actually done it the other way and it's frustrating. <laughs> so you want to make sure your points are down. And this is the front end here, and the pull handle goes in the back. So ideally you slip them over the toe, like so. And then you flip them all over and you grab the pull handle. And you can see it's quite a bit of a distance from the heel, which is good because you want a nice tight fit. So hopefully I stay in frame. <laughs> it's also hard to do with one hand while well, I'm trying to manipulate with the other, but let's see. All right, not gonna be able to do it on camera, sorry. Okay, so I kinda just stretched it over. It's on there kinda haphazardly, but 
Then you go around and you just work the edges. You want to try to make sure that they're even spaced all the way around the shoe so that the chains sit right. Okay, so it takes a little bit of work and a little bit of finesse. There it goes. And you can see they fit on there rather well. So at the heel, you have three spikes toward the center. Obviously, I would mess with these a little more and get them on here a little bit better. But toward the center, you have two spikes. You have a spike on either side and then two up by your toe area. So you get some, some really good traction with these things. Again, like I said, you got to kind of manipulate them a little bit to get them to fit on there. A little bit better than what I've done. It's harder to do it on camera. Everybody knows that. So there you go. Glacier chains. Now, you can pick these up on Amazon. Let's see if I can pull it up for you here. The current prices. So, and I don't know why their prices are like this, but the small pair are 27, medium are 28, the large are the cheapest at 22, and extra large at 23. Um, as you can see, I've had these for two years. They come in a little plastic bag, no, just packaging. And then they kind of show you how it sits on the boot. And you have them on there perfectly, which I don't. So there you go. They are in stock on Amazon right now. At least the uh, large ones are. Not sure about the other ones. But it's a pretty good investment. 22 bucks, two years, so $11 a year uh, for the winter season. Perfect price. The only thing you have to be careful with these, obviously, is when you're walking on tile, walking on concrete, walking on any type of surface like that, other than carpet or outside. These become extremely slippery. It's like walking around on metal spikes, obviously, if you've ever done that. Um, but they are a lot easier to get off than they are to get on. So if you're coming in, you can just pull them and they come right off. So they do take a little finagling, especially the first time you put them on. They're extremely tight the first time you put them on. I mean, you've seen how far away from the heel this was, and these are two years old. So... Don't think, oh, I got the wrong size or whatever. The sizing guide, at least for me with my boots, seemed to work fine. And these I actually purchased on a recommendation of a friend. These are actually the men's version of the boot. And these are just a size 8. And they seem to, to have hold up better than some of my coworkers uh, who, who bought the women's version. And I don't know why that is. I guess they just make stuff tougher for guys than they do for girls. I don't know. But two years, I mean, other than being a little dusty and dirty, these things look like brand new. They're fantastic boots. Highly recommend the Columbia boot line. But uh, the Glacier Chains, great for weather right now. We're really suffering in the Midwest. we got freezing rain. It's very icy out here today. It's just a, just a nasty day. I've never had any problems with slippage. Great investment. Totally recommend them. Um, I hope the video was informative for you. I hope, uh, check them out. I mean, check them out, pick up a pair and do a review. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down in the below. And take care. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And December's been a very busy month for me, as I'm sure it is for everybody else. Everybody's busy during this time of the year. So hopefully I'm going to get some more videos shot and get them uploaded. Uh, so stay tuned. Take care and see you in the next video.